Praise God, hallelujah. This is your friend. This is Pastor Azemi Azena, the very true son of the oracle. I want to use this opportunity to quickly talk to every one of us who believe that Nigeria will be great again. Those who are fighting for the betterment of the country and those who are fighting against impunity, fighting against police brutality, fighting for police reformation, fighting for good govern uh, government or governance, fighting for a better dividend of democracy, and these are good causes, these are good things that you are fighting for. I want to appreciate you for having that good intention for your mother country. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. However, the cause we are fighting, we should have some things in mind. That two wrongs cannot make a right. In the process of fighting what is bad, we should not turn out to be bad. In the process of trying to correct what is wrong, we should not turn out to be wrong. We have said, Ed Sass, now there are many things to end. We need to end uh, vandalization. We need to end bonfire on roads. We need to end looting from poor masses. We need to also end burning down government properties. We need to end killing ourselves as youths. We need to end several things that became abnormal in the recent time. We cannot use the wrong to correct the wrong. I want us to retrieve our steps. Someone may say, it is not the youth that are doing it. People are jacking. Whenever somebody adjacks your good intention, you retreat to re-strategize. And another thing I want to quickly say to my youth, no revolution has ever taken place without a leader. Leadership matters in protest. Leadership matters in revolutions. If you want to take a revolution, if you want to take a protest, there must be leaders. I remember Martin Luther the King, he spearheaded a revolution that took place where we have the counter-reformation. I remember late Nelson Mandela, he spearheaded a revolution that brought uh, independence and some other benefit to the South African nation. Also, we cannot be talking about a revolution or a peaceful protest with our leadership. This is why I want to quickly beg that we should retrieve our steps and now constitute leaders that we be agitating, that the masses can follow to get your cause be actualized. These are the people who can checkmate the activities of the protest. And these are also the people who are going to be privileged to be invited by authority when the time comes. So, a body with that head will not achieve a goal. So I want to say this to all my youths, come up and retrieve your step and do something new to get your goal achieved. I want to say this to us, the property will then destroy all that we have destroyed. If you watch well, with the body language and the last 12 minute speech of our president, it shows that he is not bothered because the children kid were not his children, biological children. I'm sorry to say, though you may say we are all his children, if we are all his children, he would have said something better. The car's destroyed, his car was not part of it. The police station born, he was not the one who built them, because most of those police station born were built by individuals around us who donated them to the government. And those persons may not be happy where such facilities are done that. And the road will be destroyed today, cannot be used by him. Whenever he's coming, he makes use of private jet. And we are the ones using the road. All these facilities, I want to beg you, allow them be. Let, the, let us focus on bad governance. Let's see how we can talk to our leaders. But burning of tires on the major road, killing people, raping people, looting things should not be part of us. Please, I beg you, my children, I beg you, my elders, I beg you, my brothers, I beg you, my sisters, I beg you, my uncle, let's retrieve our step. This time, it's not just head SARS, don't forget, head burning of tires. 
and burning government property, and burning people's properties, and raping people, and looting our property, and the Lord will bless you. This is just my opinion. You are entitled to your opinion. Don't be angry over my opinion because you have the power to air your personal opinion. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.